I've been cruising along the mangroves here looking for mangrove crabs. I got about six of them. There's not a lot of them, but every now and then I'll see one. But it's so thick, it's hard to get them. I'm having to use my net, and I get my net up underneath them and try and knock them off the branch. So we got, I don't know, I got about a dozen mud crabs, maybe six mangrove crabs. That's enough to catch some sheep's head with, definitely. You get up here in this this marina up here. There's a bunch of sheep's head in this marina. I'm going to cruise along here, see if I see any more mangrove crabs. Show you guys what we're looking for here. They've been up pretty high, but see how thick this stuff is. A lot of them are kind of back in behind, tucked back in there. Every now and then I'll see one kind of on the outside. Yep, there's one right there. Same right there. That little black spot on the limb. That's a mangrove crab right there. He disappeared. He saw me. But when they do that, I take and I get the, the net in there. Because usually there he is right there. They just kind of move around to the other side. We can get him to go up. He's not really going very far. Oh, there he is. Got him. There we go. Got another one. There's not bunches and bunches. I'm actually seeing more today than I usually see in our area. We just not have like a huge mangrove crab population. But I'm glad to see that there are some around here. If I ever want to just, you know, take a couple hours and try and catch some good sheep's head bait, I'll come down along this canal here. See if I can snag some mangrove crabs definitely look there's two two of them three of them right there on that branch let's see if we can get get one of them oh four of them there's one down low right here there's one down low right there you see him right there's one there and there's two up top i don't know where this guy went and i see i i got another one yeah, if you have a net, just hold a net underneath them when you're trying to catch them. Sometimes you can just knock them in the net. i got plenty of them in there. Let's head up here to this marina where I saw a bunch of sheep's head last time I was over here. See if we can get a few sheeps. If we had some good sheep's head right up in here the other day, I'm going to pull up in here and see if I can get on them. Oh, that's a big one. Fish on. That's a cute little guy. Got him on a mangrove crab. Smile for the camera. There you go. Thanks. Nice. So, I usually hook these crabs kind of through the their side towards the back. And see right there towards the back legs. I hook my mangrove crabs that way too. They seem to stay alive pretty good that way. Let's see if we got another one up there. Oh, I hit my crab on the post. Just watching my line, see if my line moves at all. You can see that high vis yellow line on top of the water. That sheep said I just pulled back and I felt him on there. Usually just leave it down there for a little while. You don't get any action, just pull back on it a little bit. I'm gonna try out here for a little while, then we'll move in on the inside. I saw a bunch of them on the inside the other day. I don't see him down there today. Yeah, I do see one on this piling right here. Oh, there they are. 
There's a couple of them right here. There's a couple of them right down here we can probably get to hit. They're down there on these pilings right here. Oh yeah, I think he's looking at it. Yep, he's got it. Oh, I think I pulled it out of his mouth. Oh, dang it, dude. We got some sheep's head right here, baby. This is not going to take long at all. We got two or three of them right here. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. Ah, oh, he picked it back up and I missed him. He's nibbling on it. There he is. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, he got off. <laughs> he got off. I had him. Took me forever to find a redfish. <laughs> Took me forever. I've been out here like two and a half hours throwing for these guys. I finally threw it up there and I, I felt him hit it the first time. Threw it back up there and he got it the second time around. Yes, sir. Finally. Heck yeah. He might be a keeper, guys. He's going to be close. He's going to be very close. I love to have me some red fish for dinner. If he's a keeper. I don't think he's going to make it, though. No, I didn't put my bump board in here. Am I spot locked? I am not. <laughs> All right, let's see if we got another one up there. Usually where there's one, there's another one. Oh, there he is, there he is. Yep, 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 yep. We got him, we found him. We found him. Oh yeah, here we go. Redfish number two, baby. Oh, that's a nice one too. That's a nice one too. Oh, the hook pulled. Cotton picket. Oh, dude, I just had a nice follow. Just had a nice follow. He came right up behind it, almost grabbed it, and he just turned and took off the other way. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, he nipped at it twice, dude. He nipped at it freaking twice. I saw him the second time. We got redfish right in front of me. We got reds right in front of me. I've had a follow and that one nipped at it twice. Come on. Give me a freaking break, man. Grab it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What the world? Dude, he freaking hammered it. He hammered it. Oh yeah, boy, it's a good one there. Boy, he hammered it. He's mixing with his mullet over there. It, it's a mullet, and I caught him in the mouth. No freaking way. I 
I thought I had a big red fish. Dude, he is hooked in the mouth. What is freaking psycho mullet, dude? Thing's fighting really good, too. Wow. Wow. That is a monster mullet. Monster. Monster, monster. Here I thought I had a giant redfish. A monster mullet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That fight right there was as good as a, a big redfish any day. All right, buddy. Thanks. Heck yeah. There's a rookie in the kayak. I didn't have my camera on. Just caught this really nice redfish. Beautiful little guy. Thanks. See ya. Nice. Oh, dang, that's a big fish. Oh, I'm tangled up on my other rod. No, 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 no. Oh my God, what a mess. What a freaking mess, that's a big fish. No way, dude. No way, it's a big fish. Cut this line. Okay. Well, apparently I've got him hooked really good. I'm afraid to cut any more lines. All right. I think I can cut this one. Ah, what a freaking mess, man. What a mess. Dude, he's still on there. He's still on there. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Dude, it's a big fish. Freaking big fish, man. Oh, it's a red. Oh, 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 look at that. It's a red. Nice. Heck yeah, baby, get in this kayak. Hoo -hoo. Now the question is, is it a keeper? Is it a keeper after all that? <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was pretty darn, whoa. Don't you hook me, dude. Don't you do it. I don't think he's gonna be 18. We will try and measure him. I think he's going to be more about 16. <laughs> Dude, I was just, I was just cruising along like nobody's business. Oh yeah, he's like 16 and a half. See ya. Nice. Heck yeah. I just flipped it up there and whack, he hit it. And now it's all tangled up mother rod. What a mess. What a freaking mess that was. All right, let's see. That was, I got lucky. Got lucky Lou there. I didn't lose him. <laughs> 